Hey guys, it's Ruthie. I'm getting ready to make chicken and noodle in the crock pot and I wanted to share how I'm going to make it. Um, these are some of the ingredients. I have the other ingredients right in the crock pot, which is the chicken. So you're going to need a package of um, egg noodles and I, my grocer did not have the frozen so these um, were on the shelf and they're homemade so I thought they would be just as good. Um, a stick of butter. I'm using a can of cream of chicken. Sorry, I'm holding the camera. Can of cream of chicken. I'm doing a can of celery. Cream of celery. You're going to need some chicken stock. I'm going to season my chicken with some garlic powder, some onion powder, and some of the, sorry, some of this seasoning. Um, probably a teaspoon of each for the chicken. And then I am going to uh, put this on oh, um, the seasonings over the chicken in the crock pot, and I will show you that. Okay, so I'm going to season my chicken. It's ready in the crock pot. I have the crock pot on high because I'm kind of cooking this late, so I need to get going here. So about a teaspoon of the chicken seasoning. And you can use whatever seasonings, or if you don't want to use seasoning, it's fine. Teaspoon of, I think this is garlic, no, onion powder. And then a teaspoon of garlic powder. The original recipe that I've seen out there does not call for these seasonings, but I'm going to do it anyway because that's just what I I want to do. And then I'm going to add in my cream of celery and my cream of chicken soups. Make sure you get all the soup out so that way you're not wasting nothing. I'm just going to spread this over on top. You don't have to do that. It's just me doing it. I'm leave this right here for a second. Then I'm going to add in to the butter. And I'm just going to lay this on top. I've cut it into small pieces. And I'm just, or um, small dabs. And I'm just going to lay them on top. Like so. And you probably could omit this part. Um, I'm trying to follow the recipe because I've, I've never tried this. So I want to see how it is with the butter. And then if it's too much then... Next time go around, I will remove the butter. And then I'm going to add in the chicken broth. Let me wipe my hands off. There we go. Now this is a, this quart here is about four cups. So I'm going to add in right now just enough to cover. So maybe two cups. And I'm going to let this cook on high for about four hours right now. And then I will come back in four hours and see where the chicken is at because I'm going to shred it once the chicken is cooked. And then I will show you the next step. I'm trying to get all this off of it without making a big mess. So let me put my lid on and I will be back for the next step. Okay, my chicken is actually done. So I'm taking just two forks and I'm going to start shredding my chicken. I already started shredding and that's when I realized, oh, I'm not filming. So I'm just going to break the chicken apart and with two forks to shred it. Just like so. Doesn't have to be perfect. Just break the chicken up as best as possible. And we're going to stick these back into the crock pot. And you see it's not difficult to do. Don't have to be perfect at it. Just break up the pieces. 
and you're doing this so that way there's chicken throughout the um, dish as opposed to just clumps so and you see the chicken is fork tender I could break it up with the fork so I'm going to continue shredding my chicken just like so and then I'm going to put it in my crock pot and let the let it finish cooking for another couple hours and I'll be back to show you the next step. Okay, I've added in the noodles. Um, the chicken was done so I shredded it, but I've added in the noodles now. And I also added in some peas just for the vegetable purposes. And I'm going to let this cook for another hour to maybe two hours depending on when the noodles are done. And I'll be back to show you the finished results. Hey guys, it is finally done. Here is my chicken and noodle. I've added peas and this is delicious. I've already had the family taste it and there's nothing wrong with it. So we are about to eat dinner. I hope you enjoyed. If you did like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And until next time, happy cooking.